Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today is Thursday, the 9th of June, 2022. And it's actually 22.20. That's 10.20 in the evening GMT. We're producing this video late because we wanted markets to close. And in addition to that, we also will not be producing a video on the weekend as we're flying abroad tomorrow morning first thing. So we're going to put this video out tonight and cover basically what has happened to the markets, particularly today, what we envisage potentially happening tomorrow. And then we will follow up with our weekly update, not this weekend, but the following weekend. Though we've got some important information coming out tomorrow. So let's take a look. Gold prices today are down $5, falling below the support level of 1848. And it's been as high as 1855 and as low as 1840. Now, for those who listen to our weekly update, which we've put a link below in case you haven't, gold ended last week that's Friday at 1851. So it's just some $3 below what it closed on Friday. And you can see it's been lower, then it's come back up and it, it's oscillating around this 1850 level. If we take a look at silver, we can see that silver is down 30 cents today at $21.75. And again, it's been lower as low as, well, below 2160. In fact, 2157 is the lowest it's been today, and as high as 2216. Now, to put this in perspective, silver started the week, or if you like, ended last week at 2196, just below $22. It's been as high as 2252, and as low as 2157. Now, part of the reason for this has been rising yields and a much stronger dollar index. Again, for those who watched our weekly update, this had fallen back to just over 101. It's now rising again and is standing at 103.31. The highest it's been in the last 12 months has been 105. So it's not that far away. What's happened to equity markets today? Well, we can see that they've fallen quite, well, quite substantially at around 2%. So we've got the Dow Jones down 1.9%, the S&P down 2.3%, but the NASDAQ taking the biggest hit down 2.75%. European markets also down today, and they were between roughly 1.5% and 1.71%. And we'll await the Asia-Pacific opening up in a few hours' time. Cryptocurrencies generally just following the NASDAQ, really, but perhaps not to the same extent, down 0.05% with a market cap of 1.24 trillion. Bitcoin is hovering at around this $30,000 level and Ethereum around this $1,800 level. Now, in terms of oil prices, although they're marginally down today, they are rising above this 120 level, and we have WTI crude at 121 and Brent crude at 122. So what's been happening in terms of economic data? Well, we can see. On Monday, there was nothing scheduled. On Tuesday, consumer credit came in at a higher figure for April than envisaged. 38 billion is the actual figure envisaged was 35, but that is still lower than what it was in March at 47 billion. Wholesale inventories were revision were at 2.2 percent compared with 1.9 expectation. This is perhaps a more pertinent figure. The initial jobless claims actually up higher than anticipated at. 229,000 with the continuing jobless claims unchanged. Now tomorrow we have the key data but this jobless figure was a little bit of a surprise. 
It, it's quite a few thousand more than anticipated. However, that alone is not going to have anything like the reasonable impact that tomorrow's consumer price index could indeed have. Now, what we don't know, of course, is what that figure will be. The market is expecting the monthly figure to be at around 0.7%, with the core CPI at 05 and then year over year, 8.2 and 5.9 respectively. If it's as high as this, quite frankly, or higher, then we can certainly expect to see equity markets continue to take a tumble and even more pressure on gold and silver prices. If they are considerably lower, we could actually see precious metal prices rise a little. We suspect these figures are not going to be significantly different from what the market is expecting. And if anything, to some degree, they might be slightly higher, which is part of the reason why we've actually seen the dollar rise today and equity markets fall because of this expectation. Whether the markets are right remain to be seen, but we have been relatively bearish precious metals for this coming month, relatively bullish for the US dollar, simply because we are almost certain that the FOMC, when it next meets, are going to raise interest rates by half a percent this month and again in July. And looking forward to next week, there's an awful lot of data and, of course, the interest rate decision, which is why it's a shame we won't be doing our weekly update. So we'll cover a little bit of this now and point out that on Monday we have the Fed, New York Fed one-year and three-year inflation expectations. On Tuesday, producer price index for May. And then this is the big day. Retail sales and the FOMC statement. We will know if there is going to be a half percent interest rate rise and also what the Fed is going to do further with its balance sheet. Then on Thursday, we have the normal initial jobless claims and on Friday, the industrial production index. So whatever you do next week, Wednesday is the key day. So the markets will be moving in anticipation and tomorrow's consumer price index will, in our view, have the major impact as to what is going to be anticipated next week. How do we see this go? We still don't believe all of the prices are built in yet, and we suspect, unfortunately, more pressure on gold and silver prices. But let's see what the inflation rate figure comes in at tomorrow. That will be a major determinant. OK, that's it for now. We're sorry that isn't going to be an update on the weekend but we're going to a country where the internet is extremely poor and we'll be using iPads rather than laptops and it makes it difficult for me because of the software that I'm using to actually get something up. If there is a chance we will do it but I doubt it very much. Therefore it remains for us just to say have a great week ahead We'll be back late next Friday, and so there will be an update on the Saturday, and we will be fully aware of what's happened to interest rates and also how the price of gold and silver have reacted to that. We are still a little on the bearish side for the next month or two. Thank you so much for listening. Please Give us a thumbs up and subscribe when we return. There is going to be a plethora of videos because there are going to be some changes to the channel. We haven't announced them yet because we're still in the process of putting them together. This week away is delaying that process, unfortunately, and we apologize for that. But there's some very exciting things going on and we don't want you to miss them. So please spread the word. 
subscribe make sure you're in receipt of the changes that are about to come thank you for listening Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. (laughs) 